What's up everybody, this is Danny, and this is the Huawei P10. After spending well over a week with it, I'm ready to share my experience with you guys. So here are a few things that I think you should know about if you're thinking about buying this as your next smartphone. The P10 looks a lot like the P9. It's more of an evolution to the design. The phone is now more rounded, doesn't feel as boxy in your hands, but the form factor remains compact, which is really refreshing actually, and is about the same size as an iPhone 7. The new Hyper Diamond cut finish on my Dazzling Blue unit is a finish that I've never felt on a phone before. It's metal, but it has a rougher texture. I personally love the way it feels. It's nice, it's grippy, it does not collect fingerprints. It's definitely unique, but it does sound like a softer nail file. Listen. Don't use this as a nail file. Don't. The screen is a 5.1 inch IPS LCD display and it looks great. And even though it's 1080p, the panel itself is high quality. It looks sharp, the colors pop, and on this screen size, the resolution is more than acceptable for watching movies or catching up on your favorite YouTube videos. My only gripe is that it could be a little bit brighter in direct sunlight. And if you tilt me really far, then you can actually see a little bit of fading, but overall, a really nice display. There's only a single speaker at the bottom, but it's loud, which is nice, but at the highest volume, it can sound a little tinny. I love the size of this phone. It's very manageable with one hand. It feels so good ergonomically. It's nice and thin at less than seven millimeters, no camera hump, everything is flush. The texture power button and tactile buttons are perfectly placed for my hands, and the fingerprint scanner is one of the fastest I have ever seen. I mean, look at this, it is just crazy fast. If you like a bigger display, Huawei did announce the P10 Plus with a 5.5 inch quad HD display that actually has the first Leica Summilux lens on the camera, so I hope I can get that in my hands very soon. I really wanna focus on the camera because I believe that's what the P10 is all about. On the front, you get the first ever eight megapixel front-facing Leica camera with f1.9 aperture, and on the back, you get the same Leica 2.0 dual camera setup that we saw on the Mate 9 with a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor and a 12 megapixel main RGB sensor, and those speak to each other to give the pictures maximum contrast, depth information, and color information, so this is my journey with it. First off, this camera can produce some gorgeous images. Taking this around Barcelona and taking over 500 pictures, I really got to know this camera. Tons of details in the pictures, lots of information here, but the one thing after reviewing a lot of these shots is that the processing tends to over sharpen, so if you like this look, you will love it. Other manufacturers do it too, like Samsung and LG, but I like to see a little bit of improvement on the processing side. The camera does tend to overexpose, but you can easily fix that in pro mode, really easy to get to, and you can shoot RAW plus JPEG when you're in pro mode, so that's really nice to have. The colors are natural, more towards the muted side actually, but you have a ton of modes to adjust that. Low light performance is decent as well, and it's nice to see that noise reduction is implemented very well here, but with an f2.2 aperture, you can still run into some softer and more noisy shots, but I'm really impressed overall. If you're familiar with the Mate 9's camera, then there's really no surprises here. Most flagship cameras are good, and we already know this, but the P10 is directed more towards creativity and getting that artistic shot without being a pro, and there are a few modes to help you do that. There's a new portrait mode that uses 3D face recognition and detection, and it can help you get that depth of field look that you would normally see out of a DSLR. The problem with this is that it only works when it detects a face, so using it on an object doesn't work. This is where the open aperture mode comes in though, and I highly suggest you shoot in this mode all the time because it can give you some stunning depth of field effects. And even if the software doesn't work, you can always adjust that after the fact and take it away completely, or you can change the focus after the fact. As far as I know, this is the only camera that simulates bokeh. Look at the lights in the background. Most other software depth effects just blur the background. I guess the biggest flaw, just like other phones, is that when the software messes up, it's really noticeable, but I'm sure this will get improved with some software updates over time. This is just personal, but I feel like the P10 has made me more creative when taking photos, and that has a lot to do with the built-in monochrome mode. 
This is not the first Huawei phone with the monochrome sensor, but the more I used it, the more I fell in love with it. The simplicity had me looking at shadows and light like I never did before. Using the 2X hybrid zoom, I was able to get some tighter shots without a huge drop in quality. And with the new artistic mode, it really accentuates the contrast and shadows so it can give you some mind blowing and dramatic pictures. The 4K video is also nice with optical image stabilization. If you wanna see more samples and let me know, I could do some cinematic footage with it. After I got home, I was able to view back my awesome time in Barcelona with a cool slideshow, taking the best of my pictures and videos. This is a partnership they worked with GoPro on, and while they aren't the first ones to do this, it's cool to have this on board. I've been using this phone for over a week, and the performance on the P10 is fantastic. The Kirin 960 chipset with 4GB of RAM might not be a benchmark killer, but in real world performance, it translates really well. Super fluid, nice touch response and scrolling. The games also play without any issues, smooth frame rates. I don't think you'll have any problems with gaming at all. And what's great is that the 3200 milliamp hour battery should last you all day for I was averaging about five hours of screen on time daily with the T-Mobile network in the US. The worst I got was four hours, so it shouldn't be an issue. If it is, the USB Type-C port at the bottom supports Huawei supercharging, so you can top up super fast if you need to. There's no wireless charging here though, for those of you that are wondering. There is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack there at the bottom. The sound output is very similar to the Mate 9. Audio sounds great on it, good volume, and it supports high-res files, but don't expect the same top of the class sound from something like the LG V20 or the HTC 10. The P10 has Android 7.0 on board with Huawei's own EMUI 5.1 software on top of it. There are some really cool intuitive features on board like this new home button control. You can swipe left to right to bring up multitasking, tap once for back and hold down the button to go home. You do have to get used to it, but once I did, I actually found this really helpful. It's perfect for one-handed use. If you don't like this though, you can always choose to use the on-screen buttons if you want. Screen recording is built right in. You can just double knock to take screenshots. Eye comfort to protect your eyes at night. This software is loaded. You can add the app drawer back through the settings, but I still ended up putting Nova Launcher on it though. I like the stock looking icons. I'm just a more pure Android type of person, but EMUI has improved a ton though. It's much more usable than it used to be. I just hope for a more clean and more stock approach to the aesthetics on the next version. The time that I spent with the P10, I really enjoyed it. I love the hardware. The camera has tons of potential. It's the first phone to actually give me an emotional response. It's not perfect, but it has me really excited to see what Huawei's got in their future roadmap. I do wanna see a culmination of all their products come together, and I wanna see a dual speaker, water resistant flagship with better software improvements later this year. So let me know what you guys think about the P10. If there's something that I didn't cover, then make sure you hit me up on social media. I'm most active on Twitter and Instagram, so let me know there and I'll do my best to answer those questions. I wanna thank Huawei for making my trip to MWC possible. Thank you, I really appreciate it. And make sure you stay tuned for more content like this. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.